Let's start by determining any general point on the given line 2x plus 11y minus 5 is equal to 0. Let x is equal to h. And therefore, from the above equation of the line, y is equal to 5 minus 2x upon 11, which is equal to 5 minus 2h upon 11. Therefore, the coordinates of any general point on this line are h 5 minus 2h upon 11. Let's denote this by p. Now the perpendicular distance from this point p on to the given line 24x plus 7y minus 20 is equal to 0. Let's denote it by t1 is equal to the absolute value of 24x plus 7y minus 20 where x is equal to h and y is equal to 5 minus 2h upon 11 divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y in the equation of the line 24x plus 7y minus 20 is equal to 0. Notice that the expression under the square root in the denominator is equal to 625 which is equal to 25 square. Therefore, T1 is equal to the absolute value of 24h plus 7 times 5 minus 2h upon 11 minus 20 divided by 25. This is equal to the absolute value of h times 24 times 11 minus 14 plus 35 minus 20 times 11 divided by 25 times 11. This simplifies to the absolute value of 250h minus 185 divided by 25 times 11 which is equal to absolute value of 50h minus 37 divided by 55. Similarly, the perpendicular distance from the point P on to the given line 4x minus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's denote it by T2 is equal to the absolute value of 4x minus 3y minus 2 where x is equal to h and y is equal to 5 minus 2h upon 11 divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y in the equation of this line 4x minus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. This is equal to the absolute value of 4h minus 3 upon 11 times 5 minus 2h minus 2 divided by 5 which is equal to the absolute value of h times 4 times 11 plus 6 minus 15 minus 2 times 11 divided by 5 times 11. And therefore, T2 is equal to the absolute value of 50H minus 37 divided by 55. Notice that T1 is equal to T2, both of them being equal to the absolute value of 50H minus 37 upon 55, which is the required result.